There we are. Yes. Babe. Yes, doll. You're the best thing to ever happen to me. Aww. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for making our honeymoon so beautiful. I mean, I can't stop thinking about the beautiful places you took me to in Dubai. Thank you. Darling. You don't need to thank me for anything. I should be the one thanking you for being mine. Okay? I promise you unconditional love. Even if the world is falling apart, I promise to be right by your side. Aww. Thank you. Loving you forever is my goal. And I promise to keep you happy all through this journey. Thank you. Once again, thank you for yeah. thank you for being mine. You're welcome. And thank you for being mine too. <laughs> <sighs> I love you so much. I love you too. I right, can't. Let's go inside. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Do now that he's married to another woman. I honestly don't know. I never saw this coming. Oh God. He only told me about his friend Jack, who wedded last month. But I still don't get it. Why would he choose Scott's wedding? How am I supposed to know? Men like Judah are wicked. He convinced me. He convinced me to get pregnant for him. He said that was the only condition. That was the only condition that he would get married to me. He just left me. What am I supposed to do with this thing? <laughs> just pull yourself together, okay? No matter what happens, you can't kill yourself. Alright? I die is this even in life. Calm down, calm down, okay? Just calm down. What am I supposed to do with this baby? Look, you have to be strong. That is for your baby. Okay? Please. It's not the end of the world. This is not fair. This is not fair.
Why are you blocking my way? Where are you coming from? Hmm? Is this how you are supposed to welcome your husband? Which husband? Where did you sleep last night? You haven't answered my question. I said, where are you going? Get out! Come on, get out! Dude, I am not done with it. I said, where the hell are you going? I'm talking to you! How dare you! Now you listen, husband. I am no longer going to give you peace in this house since you have decided to make my life miserable. Jude! For how long will you continue to make this marriage a living hell for me? Mirabel, please, I beg you in the name of God, stay out of my sight. I do not want to do a thing but of what will regret. Please! Where are you going? Or what? What have you done to me in this house? You nincompop! You bastard! I'm you! I'm you! I'm you! Are you crazy? 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 Yeah, my girl. Oh. <laughs> mm. 
Safa now. Fine. Girl, mm -hmm. your wedding is still the talk of the town. But your honeymoon is a bomb. You can say that again. <sighs> Bloggers are still flooding the social media with your wedding pictures. Mm -hmm. Okay, you need to see what is happening there. Hi! Oh, my God. I thank this great God and my wonderful hobby. You know the saying, what God cannot do does not exist. And then speak PD. Yes, so. <laughs> thank you. My dear. Ah, your kids made me believe in that saying. In fact, you are a daughter of grace. You are a child of grace indeed. I wish my husband did quarter, just a quarter of the things your husband did for you. Gina, stop that nonsense. Why the comparison? Your husband did the best he could at your wedding. Story for the cause. You will not understand. That man is very stingy. Etua kakeyade, akagom, unketeje la ralashia. You will not understand. My dear, I have one little advice for you, and you can take it to the bank if you like. Be contented with anything you have, no matter how little. After all. You see her before you marry her, didn't you? Is it wrong for a wife to enjoy her husband's money? Can't you see how beautiful you are looking? Before you said I do, you studied him and you agreed to marry him. Why are you complaining now? What I saw before going is not what I'm seeing now. Please, let's talk about your wedding, Biko. Biko, the wedding is past. We're in reality now. Who says cheers? Ah, oh, I've forgotten. Cheers, my dear. to continue to do this. When will you ever be ready to get married to me? Jude, I'm not getting any younger. Oh, I see. Now I know where you're heading to. You know what? Get pregnant for me and all your bodies will be solved. Now I see why. So you are one of those men that insist your woman gets pregnant for them before they get married to them. What if the reverse is the case at the end of the day? Oh, no, 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 no. Something like that would not happen. <laughs> yes. Look at me eyeball to eyeball. I love you so much and I will never disappoint you. I mean, how can I hurt a beautiful damsel like you? aware that I am three months gone for you? Why is it taking you so much time to come and pay my breakfast? So this is why you pulled me out from my <laughs> office. What are you even saying? Am I supposed to be reminding you about this? 
Oh wait, are you playing games with me? Oh no, my love. See, you know I've always loved you. I cannot do anything that will hurt your feelings. The thing is, I am having issues with my business. Once I settle them, I am going to pay your bride price. Okay? I've always loved you. I will never hurt your feelings. Please. Bianca, don't you think your, your man is deceiving you? Aren't you seeing what I'm seeing? That guy is not real. He's not what he appears to be. I remember telling you not to agree to his stand, but you, you wouldn't listen. Jude, that I know, you will never hurt him. He lost me with all his heart. If not for his business that had issues, we would have been married long ago. So stop saying all these things about him. Oh, really? His business has problems, yet he keeps buying you expensive gifts. Look, Bianca. The sooner you open your eyes, the better for you. And the sooner you stop having negative thoughts about my man, the better for both of us. Please! Is it not obvious that the way you are treating your wife is becoming so unbearable for her? Why all this? Did she tell you what happened? Oh yes, she told me everything. She told me that this is not the first time a thing like this is happening between you two. Dude, what the hell is wrong with you? She is your wife. And not to punch him back. Um, Jack. I don't think she told you exactly what happened. Very well then, tell me what happened. I'm listening. I came back in the morning and she blocked my way without a proper welcome. I avoided her. The next thing she did was to, to bounce on me, scolding me as if I'm her mate. She has lost respect for me. 
Why would she do that? See, let's call a spade a spade. Jude, it's all right. If that is what happened, then you didn't do it well. But all the same, she is your wife. She deserves to know your whereabouts. See, Jack, I had a workload at the office. There was a heavy rain. Yes, the traffic was mad. And you know, driving at night is not safe for anybody in this country. So I, I had to lodge at a nearby hotel for safety. That was what happened. You should have called. You should have at least told her. She is your wife. Jude, you have to stop all your silly attitude towards your wife. Okay? All right. Um, it won't happen again. None of my business. You have to apologize to your wife. Really? Yes. Of course. Go ahead. She will apologize too. Well, oh, Jude, you know the saying. Two wrongs do not make it right. She is your wife. And you are the man here. You have to apologize to her. At least for the sake of our friendship. Please, apologize to your wife. Please. All right. My love, I am sorry. It won't happen again. Please take your hands off me. Just leave me alone. Baby, I am sorry. I said I am sorry. Please forgive me. I promise it won't happen again. Are you sure this is coming from your heart? It's coming from my heart. <laughs> Jack. You are a witness to this. Of course I am. <laughs> That's more like it, my guys. <laughs> hey Jude, we need to toast to this. <laughs> Alright, you know my brand. I know you. <laughs> Mama, what are you still doing here? Please come inside. Not. I'll wait for my son here. Mama, yeah? please come inside so that I can prepare your favorite. You can do that much later. Huh? I hope you are not stressing yourself because of the baby you are carrying. What baby, Mama? I'm not pregnant though. You are not pregnant. And what are you two waiting for? Hey. Please. I want to carry my grandchildren. Yes. I want this house to be filled with the children. Can you see? Everywhere looks so quiet like graveyard. No. Mm -mm. Okay, Mama, no problem. We we'll just come in and eat. I'm not eating. I will wait for my son here. What if your son doesn't come back? <laughs> then I will sleep here. Jack, 
Ah, young man, thank you for coming. I knew you were with another woman yesterday. Don't lie to me. I know my friends. <laughs> <laughs> what could I have done? I couldn't resist her. So oh, yeah? Tracy is one damsel I know I cannot avoid. She's hot. If she catches you on bread, you will forget everything about your wife. You're very stupid. Listen, nothing can ever make me forget about my wife. Okay? <laughs> Men are polygamous by nature. Yes. Well, I put it to you, and not all men are womanizers like you. Jack. Hey, listen. The earlier you begin to pay more attention to your wife, the better life will become for you. Hmm? Mr. Righteous. See, I might be a Casanova. But I respect my wife very much. No other woman will take my wife's place in my heart. Stop deceiving yourself. I'm not deceiving myself. <laughs> Thank you for coming. <laughs> Mr. Righteous. Ah, <laughs> you will never say stop amazing. All right. Thank you so much. Hurry. Open the gate. Gina! 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 What's all this? I'm so awkward when my lunch was served! And why will I serve you lunch? Why will I serve you food? When you have decided to be so stingy with me? Just look at my friend Monica. Her wedding and honeymoon was the talk of the town! Not just a week ago. Her husband bought her a brand new Toyota RAV4 as a gift. I begged you, Ike. I pleaded with you to buy me just a car, no matter how small it is. But you refused. You know, you know all fingers are not equal. And you know me that I always cut my coat according to my size. Spend me that crap. You are nothing but a stingy man. How am I even sure? That you're not the president of Stingy Men Association. Listen, let me tell you. Very soon, I'm not only going to spend your food, but you see this, you're not going to smell it. What? Dojina! Why are you like this? So tell me, why are you like this? It's not even up to a year we got married. And you're already complaining about a woman. Why? Why wouldn't I be worried, Jack? Why wouldn't I be worried? Must I pressurize you before you do something you ought to do? I know the stress I went through when I was pressurizing you to marry. Now that you are married, you can't impregnate your wife. Instead, you are playing a dice game. Oh, Mom, I believe my wife will get pregnant at God's time. Mm. At God's time. Like I said before, are you sure her womb is all right? <sighs> Listen, Mama. Mm -hmm. But this is why you came to my house and I advise you to pack your things and go back to the village. Mm. Because I do not want any stress between me and my wife. Yeah. Okay? I don't want it. Mm. I got sick.
experience. I've not had it before. Sent for me. You are three months pregnant. father a child. What do you mean by that? What kind of a stupid question is that? What is, what do you mean by that? The seed you planted in me has germinated or is germinating. So baby, you know what to do. You are going to take full responsibility of it. And you expect me to believe that the bastard you are carrying in your womb is mine. Is something wrong with you? You're Grace! No, 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 no! You're mad! Are you shouting? Shut up! Shush it! Shush! Don't talk when I'm talking! What a merit! How dare you! You call the child in my womb, bastard! Bros! They so you're a smoke banner! They swear for you! Oh God, I don't know, Mado! I know well! Forget that I speak English! If I give you bad boss, you go normal! You're Grace! Not sure, I'm a 
yes, so I look at home with your wife, so I jam. How? Don't dare! Don't dare me! You want me to be? Take her. Slap me now! See you! See you! Fisherman! How dare! Motion picture, you, you want me to be? You have your hand, you will touch me now. No, 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 you will just touch me first. Then you say I'm no more. My brother, listen. I will just walk straight to your wife. Hello, madam. Good afternoon. How are you? My name is Tracy. I am carrying your husband's child. Bagam, as in bad boss, intro. I don't know, man. I don't Sit down for you. The Chris. Oh, God, don't get me. Be ready, Bagam. Pampas. You understand? The Chris. This is why. The vampire. Who wants it? With and where? Ask him that. Rubbish. This is our divorce papers. Hmm? I will appreciate it if you comply immediately. Good riddance to bad rubbish. This marriage is over. Henry! This is what has been going on in my home. Please, Monica, help me speak to Jenna because I'm losing my mind. Hmm. This is unbelievable. Why the comparison? Exactly the question I've been asking myself time without number. You know, it wasn't like this when I married her. I, I, this, this, is, this is getting out of hand. I've always known her to be a reserved woman with good upbringing. Mm -mm. Something must be wrong somewhere. You don't worry. I'll talk to her. Thank you so much for your time. And thank you for agreeing to speak about this matter with her brother. Thank you so much. I really, really appreciate your help. Anyway, how is the baby doing? The baby is fine. Good. Mm. Before I get carried away, let me get you something. Oh, you don't have to. Yeah, Thanks, anyway. I have to. Uh -huh. Come on. Okay. What's your next plan? If plan A didn't work. <laughs> Definitely. My plan B will click. You have never had 
any mistake in your dictionary? I don't do mistakes. I'm not a fan at all. <laughs> you trust me. You should know that I'm smooth with whatever I do. I've got this clean and smooth slate. By the time I'm done with him, when I don't finish with her, normally, <laughs> you know, go no waiting, Jamal. <laughs> Cheers. Of course. Cheers. Cheers. To success.
the clock is ticking. Like they say, time waits for no one. The hour has come for me to take risks against the clock. Actually, in the horizon, we have an emergency, okay? Is, hold on. Is that why you don't want to have breakfast? Stop that. Okay? Stop asking me too many questions. This is very important to me. Please. Mirabel, my daughter, you haven't told me why you came back from your husband's house since yesterday looking so depressed. Is anything the matter? Are you two having any problem? You can confide in me, my daughter. I am your mother. Am I not talking to a human being? Mom, if you must know, I have already filed a divorce case against him. I beg your pardon? Yes, Mom, you heard me right. Jude and I are no longer husband and wife. Why? Have you gone not? Are you insane? In this your condition? Why would you file a divorce case against your husband? Why? Mommy, mommy, I cannot continue living with Jude. Mom, if I continue living with Jude, I will die before my time. I cannot endure anymore. I cannot lie anymore. I am tired of covering up his ass. Yes, I said it. Jude is a monster. He is the worst thing that has ever happened to me. Mom, I'm done with this marriage. I'm done with Jude. It's over! Capish! I'm not going to have anything to do with him! Really? Really? I don't get it. I don't. I don't. Mirabel! Mirabel! Gina, what you're doing is totally wrong. What has gotten into you? Nothing has gotten into me. 
This is not the Gina I used to know. What have they done to my friend? Listen up. You better stop pressurizing your husband to offer you what he cannot. Really? Yes. Are you not supposed to be my friend? So why are you supporting my husband instead of me? Your husband is gentle. He is caring and humble. Above all, your husband is God-fearing. This is what every woman desires in a man. Is this why you invited me here, my dear? All fingers can never be equal. I agree that my husband showers me with a lot of gifts. But not all that glitters is gold. Let me ask you one thing. Are you not happy in your marriage? Hmm. Well, I'm happy in my marriage. I will not deny that. But never you judge a book by its cover. It's obvious you're the enemy of my progress. So you don't want my husband to shower me with gifts. You don't want me to enjoy my husband's money now that I'm alive. Oh. Listen, let me tell you one thing. If you're the one advising him not to shower me with gifts, please stop. Else, you wouldn't like what I'll do to you. Gina, are we now quarreling? What does it seem like? Backstabber. Me? Are, are you living? Gina! Hey. Huh. So my advice has become the bad thing.
what are you doing here? What does it seem like I'm doing here? I am here to be with the father of my unborn child. You have no right to barge into my house without my consent. It sounds so romantic, so sexy. Call me again. Delilah, you're a bad girl. <laughs> with your life. Hmm? I mean, what kind of a man is he? He couldn't even come throughout your journey as a pregnant woman. And you even gave birth, he didn't show up. Look, girlfriend, just forget about that guy and move on with your life. Forget about him and have some peace of mind. Please. I die, you think I don't know these things? You think I don't know these things you're telling me? I just want to meet him, look into his eyes and know why he treated me the way he did. Really? You still want to see him? Then why don't you go to his house? You think I haven't? And you think I haven't gone to his house? I was told he has backed out. What? What kind of a man is that? Some men are so mean. It shall never be well with him for treating you this way. My God will judge Jude wherever he is. God will judge Jude. Calm down, Jude. Just calm down. Tell me what's going on. <sighs> Why can't you confide in me? You've been acting strange since morning. And I'm no longer comfortable with it. I'll be fine. That is not what I want to hear. Then what do you want to hear? Hmm. 
you're my husband and I'm your wife. I desire to know what the problem is so that I can at least render my support. When did you start hiding things from me? Fine. I just lost a contract of a hundred million. A contract I invested over 20 million naira. My hard and money. All gone. Are you fine now? Number 12, yes. Are you sure? Yes, ma'am. I am ready. I can feel the pain in your heart. I pray you find peace after this. I cannot alter your decisions. All I want is your happiness. Thank you, Mommy. I love you. I love you too. Please, take good care of yourself. <laughs> I will, Mommy. <laughs> I'll see you soon.
Listen, I am sorry about my, my behavior yesterday. My emotions got the best of me, but I promise this will never happen again. You acted really weird. I've never seen you act like that before. I couldn't stop thinking about it. Hey. Think no more. Okay? Please don't act like that again. And I promise you, I will never act like that again. Hmm? Okay. So how is my baby doing? It was fine now that that is back to his senses. Oh yeah? <laughs> <laughs> I can see her dancing and partying in there. Oh. <laughs> yeah, right. My love, I I have to go. Okay? I'm running late. Oh, it's okay. So yeah. I'll see you when I get back. Alright. Take care of yourself. Bye, darling. Bye. With this young guy. What did they do with Oga's second wife? Hmm? I must find out. Me, on your come come, on your name everywhere. I, I trust myself now. Not this one way when they do here anyway. I must find out. No, he's not in the phone by Banky Yankee. I trust myself. Baby, our plans are really, you know, progressing. You can say that again. Yes. <laughs> you know, there's something I want to do soon. Hmm? I want to convince him to employ you here as a cook. Hmm. You know, this is my cousin for my cousin and all the rest. And then once you're here, boom, we have the whole time to ourselves. We we'll enjoy and explore. Then you will not miss me anymore. <laughs> and he will not even find out that the baby you're carrying is not his. Shh! <laughs> baby, don't talk like that. I'll show you. Do you want people to know? I'll say. I uh, give up. Uh, I give up. Who is killing you? <laughs> Please, see. By the time I am done with him, <laughs> by the time we are done with him, he <laughs> go agree. I will squeeze him, drain him, take out all the red blood cells or fuzzy white blood cells. He can't breathe anymore. I trust you, no. I ah. trust you. I trust mm. you. And um, after that, you then poison him to death. Shh. Ah, baby. The walls have ears. You don't say things out like that. Please all right. be careful. I give up. Okay. Why is giving up? Is there a gun to your head? <laughs> <laughs> Stop it, you're still funny. Alright, so okay. what would you take? I, I want to get you something to take, then you relax and then we now hit it hard. Anyway, nobody's here, you know. I've missed you. You need to refresh the baby's head. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
<laughs> All right. Um, you already know my brand, so you just do justice. I don't have your brand. I give you what I have, and you take it because you love me. In it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, All right. I'm, I'm waiting. I'm All waiting. All right, baby. All right.
The dining is still not set. Has my food not ready? My husband, take it easy. Hmm? Your food will be served very soon. I am the man of this house. Do what a wife should do. Kneel down. I'm your husband. My husband. Hmm? I am sorry. Hmm. You know I love you. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, babe! You look so funny. You women are really <laughs> suffering. Can you imagine baby standing heat? Now you see what I do good for you. I mean, I try my best to do good for you. But you know what? You can be a good actor. Oh really? Oh yes. So I can call myself the best actor in the world. <laughs> <laughs> Down. <laughs> Sorry, your food is not ready. <laughs> Baby. What? I want you to know that you are the best thing that has ever happened in my life. Hmm. Thank you so much. I love you so much. I love it. And I will never turn my back on you. I will never turn my back on you. <laughs> <laughs> well, check it out, man. Guy, I cannot be wearing this. What's this? I will that really train. Back. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, baby. Thank you for loving me. Mm. Love you so much. Sing here. Can you just move here? What are you holding like this? Actually, oh, you're my dress. You're my dress. Baby. Please, too fast. Let's go fast. his wife or mother, God will never forgive that person. Yeah. Any man, of course. <laughs> <laughs> I can never be a man, seriously. <laughs> oh, baby, just thank like, you. just like I've always said, yeah. you are the best thing that has ever happened in my life. Thank Thanks you. for being my wife. Mm, thank you for being my Thanks husband. for being my everything. Thank you for being my everything too. I love you so much. I love you too. Can you just give me that voice you gave me? Thank you for being my husband. <laughs> 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 what? Ah! The good times we shared. Can't get off my mind. to 
Hello, Henry. What? All right, um, just send the video in my WhatsApp messenger. Now. Very fast. I said fast. Um, take this. Okay. You just pay me two days ago. You come to give me another money. Okay. My my family depend on me. Okay, I beg not sack me now because I kill him. Anything where I don't do bad, please forgive me. Please, be good. Harry, stand up. Stand up. I said stand up. Um, you know I cannot sack you. I just want to be generous. But, I want you to watch over my new woman. Huh? Yes, I want you to dictate her movements. Most especially, her phone calls. I promise I'm going to pay you more if you get a useful information about her. Uh, <coughs> Oga, even I say you suspect this woman. Can you mind your business? Sorry, sir. Anyway, I want you to be very smart. She must not know about this. Else, you will be in a hot soup. What did I say? Yes. You, uh, I will be in a hot soup. What did I say again? Yes, I will be in a hot soup. Again and again? Yes, I will be in a hot soup. Thank you. Um, oh God, trust me. Huh? Uh, uh, uh. Tell me that you're still thinking about Mirabel. Hmm? Come on, come on. You guys are divorced already, officially. Yeah, so why think about her? Hmm? She's in your past now. So let everything that is in the past. 
be in the past. Okay? Okay, Judas. Baby, there's something I want to discuss with you. Oh, what could that be? I have this cousin of mine. He's a chef. I would want to seek your permission for him to come resume work here. Mm -hmm. Because you know, the, the, the doctor said, Madam, Please do not go through stress because of your unborn child, so he or she would not be harmed. So I need to obey doctor's advice. Well, no problem. He can start work tomorrow. Ah? Oh. Yes. <laughs> Thank you, baby. You're welcome. Thank you so much. You're welcome, my love. Just point. Can we go inside? Are you expecting anybody? Good morning, sir. Good morning. Good morning, ma. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, sweetheart, that's the cook I told you about. Oh. Yes, he's my cousin. <laughs> um, um, how is my uncle? He's fine, ma. Oh, good. All right, um, you are highly welcome. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Um, baby. Yes. Take him to his room. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. Oh. Wait, wait. <laughs> All right. Thank you, baby. Thank you, sir. Now you are welcome. Hey, what are you doing here? You see, this is your uh, woman. She's a big lie. This person, where she carry come, tell you, say, eh, him being cousin. Ah, now, full package of life with that. Okay? This boy, no even relate with him at all. Anyway. Ah. Mind your speech. Do not be reckless with your statement. I know what I'm doing. Hi. Eri Logam. Eri Logam. She said this girl never jump my organ. I go to tell him the truth. Doing the work of it that sent me in this house. My organ slapped me. No problem. Mind your speech. Mind your speech, Metronogi. Thank you so much for coming over to see me. I really do appreciate it. You're welcome. 
<laughs> but I'm really worried. I was shocked when my husband told me that you and Jude are divorced. I know that you suffered a lot of domestic violence with him. But I also remember that you told me that he had changed. I did, yeah. Wow. He changed and became a better man. Or so I thought. Until I found out that his secretary, Tracy, was pregnant for him. What? Yeah. That's the exact expression I had when I got the information. Tracy is carrying Jude's child. But your husband is aware of everything. He didn't tell you? No. Nobody mentioned any of this to me. <sighs> oh, take it easy. <clears throat> you know what? Three children from three different women. Holy Mother of God! You don't say. This is unbelievable. I was so angry that I confronted him. No, 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 husband! You cannot. I say you cannot run away from this particular question. You must answer me, Jude. I need the truth from you. Tell me the truth. Do you or do you not have three children with three different women? Answer me. Mirabel. Yes? Why are you pestering my life? Why? Who is feeding you with all these lies? Oh, these lies you say. Okay, how about this? What about Tracy, your secretary? Tell me, is she pregnant with you or not? I don't know what you're talking about. How dare you? Oh, Jude, you look me in the eye and you lie to me, you bloody liar. Now for good information, I hired a private investigator to confirm this fact for me. So you're lying! You're cheating on me! You're cheating on me! Shut up! No, no, shut up! You raise your hand on me! Or I will do it again! No. <laughs> Jude pushed me to the wall. His hands on my neck, literally choking me to death. Monica, I felt the severe pain in my womb. And then we looked down. My leg blood was trickling down. I I lost my unborn child that day because of his lies. The love I had for Jude died instantly. He killed my unborn child. Every day, every day I die literally of a thought of my baby. Look at you. Look at you carry your child. I lost everything. I lost my baby. I lost my husband. We back to my mother's house. Jude! Sent for me. Uh, Henry. Okay. You know it's been long you saw your people. 
Yes, sir. So I want you to travel home to see them. Hmm? Here is 20,000 Naira for your transport. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Um, Oga, God go bless you. Even when you get plenty blessing, eh? you go to shower you with more blessing. See, Oga, if you be governor and president of this country, ha, every Monday and Friday on a public holiday, you could dash a holiday anyhow. They dash up to people. Henry, Henry, <laughs> okay. you will never see to amaze me. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Well, um, thanks for the compliment. Please, you must leave very early, okay? Okay, sir. Thank uh, you. Uh, Chai! Hey! I did tell people, say, this gate man work, and I've been the best work so far. Since as my uncle, they even tell me, go holiday, go holiday. Nobody said that me, they ask me. And they tell me, go holiday. Huh? If there is any other work that is bigger than Gateman, no give me. As far as this house is concerned, that means to be number one. Hey! Why are you wearing that look? It doesn't suit you. When did you start hiding things from me? I don't understand. What do you mean by that? Why did you not tell me the full story behind Mirabel and Jude's divorce? Oh, baby, please, please, I beg you. Not tonight. Must you know everything? Besides, there are certain things you must not bother yourself with. Especially about people's marriages. Well, Mirabel is my friend. And fine. Go ahead and ask her. Well, she told me everything today. And I felt really bad. Well, it's a good thing she finally told you. It's a good thing it came from her. But what I do not understand is why you always have to blame me for things that have no business with me. Why? before you react to things I, I have no business with, okay? that your man is not going to come back. Hmm. Hmm. That bonfu. 
Yamugu. That's idiot. Come back to where. <laughs> Please, I beg. This afternoon, he traveled to Enugu. Without his dumb this man. Okay. I beg. You should stay there. <laughs> <laughs> that idiot is such a fool that he could not even dictate what has been going on behind closed doors. It's a mugu now. What does he know? What a beautiful couple. My nicknames are now Mugu, Foolish Man, and Stupid Man. What? No secret is hidden under the sun. So it's that I can explain. It's not what you think. I can actually explain. It's not what you think. Can you go to your WhatsApp? And see the video I sent to you. Who is now smarter? You will not leave to tell this story. <laughs> What a beautiful revenge. The fruit both of you just ate was poisoned by me. Ah, ah, ah. You can scream down the whole building. Nobody is going to hear you. My gatekeeper who should have heard your scream, I sent him away so I can carry out my mission. The police, the police are right here still. The police will not have any trace. Your next one, do not play games with the devil himself. to pray about it, okay? Yes. 
So, that was what happened in my nightmare. Oh my goodness. I perceive danger. Bad omen, I see. I think God is trying to tell you something about your husband. My husband? Yeah. My husband is a very good man. He cannot even hurt a fly. Anyway, most dreams don't happen as they appear. Then I will take you to my pastor. Mom has spoken. Get in there. I want 10 million naira to be paid into my account before six hours. For how long will you continue to know? blackmail me like this? Black as long as it pleases me. We used to be best friends. You were like a brother to me. Why have you decided to mess our friendship up? Jack, you destroyed us, remember? Well, I'm sorry about that. When will you ever forgive me for everything? You have five hours, 58 minutes to pay in the money. Yes, your wife will know everything about us. Shoot. Monica, as I was praying, I saw you in deep pit, helpless and unconscious. All of a sudden, a big python came out with its fellow python. I ordered his friend you to death. The python coiled around you. Within a typical of an eye, I saw you walking in darkness, rejoicing as if all is well. Pastor, how do I comprehend all of this? You need to go into praying and fasting. For at least 6 a.m. to 12. You must wake up every midnight and pray for God to reveal what you need to know. And don't be offended. I will pray along with you. But fear not. God is with you. Let us pray. Oh. Heavenly Father, behold your daughter. Please answer her. Help her. Jude, what are you doing? Baby. Don't touch me. What are 
are you doing in my house? Well, um, I actually came to see my newborn baby. Our baby. You came because of my newborn baby? As what? Why are you talking this way? Dude, you actually have gods. You have a lot of gods to actually walk into my house to ask about a child you don't know anything about. Bianca, why are you talking this way? Have you forgotten that I have been in China for good four months? I just came back three days ago. So please, let us not quarrel. I just want to see my new baby. Joe, you are such a good actor. You should actually join Hollywood and act in movies for them. Please, just permit me to see my baby. I am begging you. Juju, you really hurt me. You really, really, really hurt me a lot. I am sorry if I did hurt you. moved her luggages out of the house, meaning that she's done with the marriage. It's obvious. I wanted to keep this to myself, but decided to let you know about it. Gina is not thinking. She's not thinking straight. Gina is out of her mind. I would definitely look for her and talk some sense into her. No, 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 please don't worry about it. Please. I mean, it's a life decision. I, I don't want you to get involved in this, please. But Gina is my friend. See, see, Monica, please. Begging, don't get yourself into this. Don't worry about it. See, you can take a horse to a river. You cannot force that horse to drink from the same river. Everything in life happens for a reason. Five hours, 58 minutes to pay in the money. Yes, your wife will know everything about us. Ah. 
as I was praying. I saw you in deep pit, helpless and unconscious. All of a sudden, a big python came out with its fellow python. You need to go into praying and fasting for at least 6 a.m. to 12. Imagine how happy he is with his wife. The saddest thing about betrayal is it never comes from your enemies. But it is better to have enemies who honestly tells you they hurt you than to have a backstabber as a friend. Jack, 
the only way I can let go the past is to cripple you financially. Okay, I, I have resumed work. Yeah, okay. Ever since I came back, I have not seen a, a second madam and a, her boyfriend. Do you expect me to still keep them under my roof? Question. Now you don't provo provoke provoke Ogana. We are doing the right thing. What do you mean, my love? Go back to your wife. She must have your lies and mistakes. No, 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 don't say that. Wait, wait, how do I be with someone that doesn't even love me? How do I be with someone that actually chose material things over me? I don't want to die of heart attack being with somebody that never loved me. No, it's not going to happen. I'm scared, honestly. See, baby, you don't need to be scared, okay? Remember, you're my first love. Remember when I met you? I was head over heels with you. If not for that issue that happened that I lost contact with you, we'd have had beautiful kids and we'd be happily married by now. Come on. See, I thank God for bringing you back into my life. You were that joy that we're missing and you came back. So come on, let's live our life happily together after. Just leave her and let her be on her own, okay? Okay? Okay. <laughs> I love you, baby. I love you more than anything. I love you to the moon and back. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> yeah, tell me anything. What do you want me to do for you? Just tell me anything and I'll do it right now. Ice cream and pizza. Ice cream and pizza. Is that all? Do you want some shawarma with it? Some hot dog? Okay. Let me grab my wallet and I'll get it for you, okay? Okay. Okay? Promise me you won't be thinking anymore. I promise. Okay, good. I'll be back, okay? calling me by this time of the night. I want 30 million naira in my account and I promise not to disturb you again. 30 what? They didn't even ask me for such amount in my account. 
How is it my business? Jude, I paid you 10 million naira three days ago. I have spent over 15 million naira on the same blackmail. Why can't you just stop? Why are you this wicked? Do not test my patience. I don't have it, okay? Listen, I promise you before the end of tomorrow, I will have your money ready. Okay? And I'll bring it to you. Please. Please, I beg you. Let me gamble your trust. You're not gambling it. Thank you, man. <laughs> Don't uh, hit me again. Uh, Mom, I'm sorry. I'm sorry about that. O open the gate! Darling. Where's your friend? Oh. Uh. <laughs> well, you see, he had an emergency, so he had to run. Yes. He had to run. So, what about the good news? Did he tell you? Oh, the good news.
cheers to good life and prosperity. And big amount of money that will be paid into my account. <laughs> I almost forgot about that. <laughs> cheers, my brother. Thank you. Mm. Please drink first. I... I don't understand. How, how are you trying to say that I... Poison. I said drink first. What if I say no? Jack. So you want me dead? Well, I don't know what you're talking about. Besides, not everyone is as evil as you are. What are you talking about? You think I would like to kill you, my friend, my very good friend? Who told us? Please take your drink and, and, and enjoy the drink I brought for you. This, this is special. <coughs> Darling, what are you doing here? I, you were supposed to be in the hospital. Um, I forgot something. What's going on? Uh, Monica, I actually came to complete my story, but your beloved husband here told me that you went to the hospital. What? Jude. It is a good thing that you came back quick. Keep my wife out of this. Monica. Jack is not responsible for your pregnancy. I am the father of the baby you are carrying in your womb. I beg your pardon? You heard me right. I am the father of the baby you are carrying. We can conduct a DNA test once the baby is delivered. Jack? Jack! Yes. Yes. Jude here is the father of your child in crime. How? Twelve years ago. I had a terrible motor accident that almost destroyed my manhood. The doctors confirmed that I could no longer father a child. I kept my impotency a secret from everyone. Except my good friend here. Yeah. My mother pressurized me to get a wife. But I refused because I I didn't want any woman to go through the pains of childlessness with me. But then I met you. And I fell in love with you. So now that you are married, are you going to tell her about your condition? She doesn't need to know about my condition. She must not know that I am impotent. Then how do we intend to produce babies? That's where you come in. Jude. You have been my friend for years now. Of course. As a matter of fact, you're like a brother to me. You're right. I want you to sleep with my wife.
Have you lost your mind? You must be crazy. Jude, I beg you to do me this favor. And I promise you I will be indebted to you forever. Please, do this for me and wipe away the shame. Do this for your brother. It's okay. A friend in need is a friend indeed. I will do it for you. I will. Thank you very, very much. May God bless you. Thank you. You're welcome. But I want you to know that this is a very difficult task. Well, how do we intend to convince her? Don't worry. I have other plans.
knows how he got you pregnant. Leave me alone! Get out! Circumstances with me. I'm sorry, I cannot take you back. Baby, please. Please, let's try. Forgive me. No, we can't try anything. It's too late. I'm a changed person now. I have filed in for divorce. I can't have you back. You're a beautiful woman. Someone out there would love and cherish you. I have found mine. Someone that loved and cherishes me. No, please, let's try. It's going to work. Beautiful. My gold. My love. My gold. Okay. Well, um, if you don't mind, please use the door. I have a wonderful, sumptuous lunch with my wife. Okay? True baby, what did you prepare? Your favorite! And what is that? <laughs> you always spoil me with food. Yeah, baby, it's bad. I have to make it for you. Okay, <laughs> In the name of God, please tell me the truth. Please. It's my husband having an affair with his secretary, Tracy. Please talk to me. Who told you that? Oh, that is not important. I need the truth from you, please. You are his best friend. All of a sudden, my husband became a total stranger. 
I mean, he lies a whole lot. Only God knows the kind of trauma I have been passing through. I am tired. I don't want to die early of HBP because of his reckless life. No, please talk to me. I need to get these assumptions off my head. I need to know what I'm doing, what is happening. I beg you, please just talk to me. Please. You're a good woman. You do not deserve this wickedness. I think you deserve a better man. <laughs> and yes, your husband has been cheating on you with his secretary. And as a matter of fact, she's pregnant for him. <laughs> what? I... <laughs> You see, Jude, your husband has three different kids from three different women. I would advise you to divorce him. Hey, hey, you destroyed my marriage and you were Hurt me to watch you enjoy your own marriage. Clap for yourself. You know what? People who live in glass houses shouldn't throw stones. What is good for the goose is also good for the gander. Well. I never wanted your money. But the only thing that came into my mind was to cripple you financially due to the pain you inflicted on me. Do you know how it hurts to be betrayed by someone you took as your blood brother? Get out of my house. Shut the fuck up! are supposed to be my brother! Don't do this. But you betrayed me. Please. Hi, Gina. Thank you, my dear. Thank you. Thank 
you very much. Indeed, all that glitters is not gold. But Jack will not go scot free. He will surely pay for all that he has done to me. Charges have been pressed against him. Yeah, of course, for real. He will surely rot in prison. He's not above the law. Thank you, my dear. Bye. All of a sudden, a big python came out with its fellow python. I ordered his friend to strangle you to death. Everything is clear to me now. The pastor was right all along. My daughter. You have to stop crying and let go of the past and move on. Hmm? Please, be cool. Monica, I agree with your mother-in-law. You have to move on, okay? Forget about the past. You have a bright future here. Hmm? I moved on, right? So you can do it also. Focus on your baby. Ah, oh, please. Just dry up the tears. Hmm? I might be an orphan. But the two of you, you mean a lot to me. Aww. Thank you. Aww, you're welcome. <laughs> Loneliness has taken over me. 